In this video, I want to reintroduce you to some GCSE concepts on averages, so mean, median, and mode. And I also want to discuss finding the range and the interquartile range. Okay, so it's a little bit of a GCSE recap uh, in order to get us going towards learning about standard deviation. Okay, so what I've got here are two sets of data and I've tabulated them. So I've got one set of data here for A and one for B. They both have exactly the same number of uh, data or entries. Okay, so that what this is talking about is that the F represents frequency. And remember, frequency is a mathsy word for how many. So that means that there are two twos. So I would have, if this was the raw data, I would have two, two, five, six, nine, 10, 11, 14, 15, 18, 18. Okay? And here I would have uh, two, five, five, six, six, 10, 14, 14, 15, 15, and 18, okay? And from this data, we want to be able to calculate, um, well, all of these, okay? So it makes sense to start off with uh, calculating the mean. So we just add them all up and divide by how many there are. So what we have are two twos, okay? Plus a five and a six and a nine and a 10 and 11, and 14 and 15 and two lots of the 18 okay and that gets us 110 and then we would divide that by how many there are so 11 so 110 divided by 11 gives me 10 okay let's try it for b so we've got uh one two there we've got two fives we've got two sixes We've got a 10, uh, we've got two 14s, we've got two 15s, and an 18. Okay, and that adds up to 110 as well, divided by 11, and gets us 10. So in actual fact, A and B both have the same mean. Now the median is the middle value. Now, seeing as there's 11 bits of data, if we add 1 to that, that gets us 12, and then halve it, that gets us 6. So the middle value will be 6 uh, bits of data along. So we're looking for the 6th one. You can do this either by crossing them off as you go, like in a stem and leaf diagram if you like. But 6 ones long, so we've got 2 there, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that means the median is 10. Now for B, uh, we've got 11 bits of data, so add one, halve it. So we look at the sixth again. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And so once again, the median is 10. It's looking a bit spooky, isn't it, right? Okay. So how about the mode? Well, the mode is the most common value to appear. And what we have is that the mode for set A, well, there's two of them, there's two, and 18. The 2 and the 18 came up twice, so set A has two modes. Set B has four numbers that appeared twice. So we've got 5, 6, 14, and 15. So as you can see just from this example, that the mode in this case isn't going to be really very useful as a comparison. How about the range? Now, the range is the largest, take away the smallest. So we have 18, okay? So we've got two 18s, so the largest value is an 18. The, large, uh, the smallest values are two, so 18 take away two gets me 16. So that's the range. And exactly the same for B, 18 is the largest value, take away two gets me 16. Okay. Now, how about the upper quartile? Right, well, the upper quartile is three quarters of the way along. So we've got 11 bits of data. Add one gets us 12. Now three quarters of 12 is nine. So we're looking for the ninth bit of data. So we've got two, three, uh, two, three, sorry, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so the ninth bit of data is 15. 
and it'll be the same for B, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so the ninth data value would also be 15 for B. For the lower quartile, well, add 1 to 11, that gets us 12, a third of that is um, 3, so it's the third item, 1, 2, 3, so that's 5, and 1, 2, 3, that's, so that's 5 again. So the interquartile range is the upper quartile, take away the lower quartile, 15, take away 5, 10. So, actually, the two sets of data um, have a lot in common, okay? They've got the same mean, the same median, the same range, the same interquartile range. The only difference is the mode, but as you can see, because we've got uh, four different modes here and two there, it's not really uh, very easy to compare them. So the mode here isn't really going to be of much use. So what can we compare them with? Because clearly, the data is very different, okay, in the sense of how it's spread out. So there must be another way of assessing how spread out this data is. So that's where the standard deviation comes in. Because all, everything that we learned at GCSE hasn't enabled us to compare the data because everything is coming up exactly the same. So we're going to learn a technique in the next couple of videos, the standard deviation which is going to enable us to compare this data in finer detail.